Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Kyle Keel. Please stay weather aware here as we head later this afternoon and especially as we head into tonight as we do have the potential for some strong to severe thunderstorms. Our threat tracker is in the orange as we have a slight to enhance risk. This is mainly going to be for the southern part of the viewing area. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Over the weekend, we don't have to worry about any severe weather, but we will have off and on showers and thunderstorms. Uh, thunderstorms will probably be more isolated in nature. So here's a look at that severe weather threat. Again, basically, uh, this is uh, uh, from about Grundy Center down towards Cedar Rapids, tipped in and points off to the south and west where we have that slight to enhance risk of severe weather. Uh, the area in orange has the higher risk for that damaging wind and hail. And initially here early this evening, there could be an isolated tornado, but I really do think that that, that potential is going to be a little farther off to the southwest. But it certainly uh, there's a lot of dynamics going into this system. And so we're going to have to watch things very closely hour by hour here this afternoon. So by one o'clock, we're going to have an area of showers and a few thunderstorms here, uh, basically along our uh, western counties here. Uh, they might expand a little farther to the east, and uh, we will continue with that potential for some scattered showers and thunderstorms through about 5 p.m. And this is the time frame that we need to watch for any of these storms to potentially be strong or severe. I want you to take note in Dubuque up toward Alcatraz and Decorah, the chance of rain there in northeast Iowa a little bit lower than everywhere else today. As we uh, head toward 10 o'clock, you can see this is where we are going to have those showers and storms potentially on the severe side, and then uh, that's going to continue here as we head after midnight. I think after about 1 or 2 o'clock, it should wind down for eastern Iowa, uh, but that threat will continue here off to our west and south. As we head into Saturday, we are going to see some scattered showers and even a few thunderstorms, but notice it's not terribly widespread. Uh, we will continue with that threat here into Saturday night, and we'll keep that going here into Sunday as low pressure continues to spin through the area. So for today, scattered storms, temperatures in the 70s uh, might have already reached that high there in Waterloo as we got a little period of some sunshine, but now the clouds are building back in. Tonight we'll have lows in the low to mid 60s. Scattered showers and storms are going to continue. Uh, we'll keep that east wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Your city by city forecast shows us off and on scattered showers and storms both Saturday and Sunday. Highs will be in the low to mid 70s. So overall for July standard standards, it will be a cool weekend. But as we head into next week, we should start to warm those temperatures up. We'll have highs near 80 on Monday with a few scattered showers and storms. Tuesday looks dry, but off and on chances for rain will come Wednesday through next Sunday with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Not going to be a complete washout, but definitely some isolated rain chances later next week.